Hi everyone, Kevin Collington here with my nutrition report from Monterey 70.3 that I did last weekend. It was my first race as a first endurance athlete, so um, some big changes to my uh, nutrition for the race from Robert uh, for this year, and it ended up working out pretty well. So the the breakfast, the morning of the race, I like to wake up three hours before, and uh, I had oatmeal with almond butter, a big bowl of that, kept it pretty simple. Uh, Robert had me start with dairy-free and gluten-free for this race, uh, that's the first time I've done that. So normally I would have a bagel in the past, but this, this year it was oats and almond butter. Uh, about two hours before, or no, one hour before the race, I'll have a, a little bit of uh, beet juice, just a little bit. Uh, the, it's, a, it's a powder, you just kind of mix it with some water. And then right before the swim, I'll have some liquid shot, very watered down, about 100 calories with pre-race. So get my caffeine fixed there right before the swim starts. So onto the race, basically I uh, came out of the water with the front group and then onto the bike. It was cold and rainy, which meant for me, I was able to load my bottles down with lots of calories. Um, you know your body's not using a lot of energy to uh, cool itself it's you know it's already cold it was about I don't think it got over 60 degrees the whole race so really just kind of a cold day it started raining halfway through the bike uh, so each of my bottles had 200 calories in it 200 calories of EFS and that was about this size bottle uh, I used this one I ended up tossing it at an aid station and grabbing a bottle of water so I had, in the end, I had three total bottles of, of liquid, two of them with 200 calories of uh, EFS, and then uh, one of them actually had some pre-race mixed in, that was the second one. So kind of top up on the caffeine there at the end of the, end of the bike. And then uh, in addition to that, I had a, another watered down liquid shot. This one had 200 calories in it, but I uh, filled it with water to make it full. And, um, the total calories for the ride was 600, so a little, a little under 300 calories an hour for the bike. Able to take in a few more calories because of the weather. Um, and Robert and I had discussed how many calories I was going to eat. It was about 250, um, but that was for me being about four kilograms lighter than I am. So not quite at race weight, but it's only March. Uh, that'll come in time over the summer. So onto the run, I had another watered down liquid shot. And this one, again, 200 calories, just like the one I had on the bike. And basically just kind of sip on it as I head through aid stations, um, grab some water uh, to you know, digest it. Anyways, the, uh, I ended up getting second in the race. It was a pretty good day. Uh, very wet, very cold, kind of happy it's over with. Uh, right after the race, I had a package of Ultragen, one of the, uh, the packets that they sell now. So the about 320 calories there and you know that's mainly because you know you want to recover and I have Oceanside this weekend, Oceanside coming up and that's only 13 days after Monterey so I wanted to get the recovery going immediately. So I think Monterey will be a, or Oceanside will be a little different, it'll be a little warmer, we have a little bit of a heat wave coming in, I'm already down here in San Diego. And so I won't be able to take in quite as many calories per ounce of water. I'll have to dial it back a little bit. But those are just those are the only changes I'll have to make. Okay, thanks.